Yo, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, we're going to do an update here, the cycle pattern analysis, where we are in the cycle. Uh, what current, you know, this current pattern, actually, the projector, the hovering projector we talked about, um, it is playing out according to layout, setup, projection. Um, here, the thing about these patterns, guys, and there's there's many, many, many patterns you can find in the market that look like this. And normally it does call for uh, some volatility here. As soon as there is that tail end of consolidation here, okay, so we're come back, we're coming back down right now to test this level of support right around the 640 uh, level here on AMC. And normally what happens here, we tracked a couple of patterns here, but um, this will indicate uh, a bigger push up here or a bigger push down. Again, this is not me trying to predict what's going to happen here next. I'm just showing you uh, this based on historical patterns that have happened in the market. That's what I do here is really take a look and reference back other stocks with similar, um, similar sector in the meme sector here and compare them, right? That's, that's a good way to sort of um, analyze these levels naturally using those fractals. So he, we have a couple of patterns here. Um, I'm going to pull them all here for you. Uh, also, we can update here the current setup here on Ethereum Classic is actually looking pretty interesting. Uh, you can see here the structure of this pattern. Okay, as soon as we got this high, and remember this is going to earnings on this massive, massive spike we have here. But you can see, if you zoom in here, how some of these patterns are playing out. Uh, right here, for example, very small POI, but you do get some upside before it coming back down. Um, and, you know, this is a very micro level, but I think it's still relevant to track. This is calling for sideways, you know, pressure. So if the projector here does not have a bigger push, say we come back up here, we do something like this, and we don't get anything here, we just trail sideways and start coming back up and down. Again, we might be setting up for a nice little run here going into earnings. So let's go ahead and pull up the other pattern. There's a couple. Um, this is one that we pulled up. Okay, this one is Tilray. Tilray is cannabis stock, right? Those stocks here did go up based on um, there was a catalyst, right? Government catalyst here, um, and we saw it just spike literally right before right before earnings. Uh, day, uh, the day of earnings it was after hours. This thing rallied here on the last two hours of the market, and it was just, it went up like 40%. It was crazy. Um, and it was before earnings, right? We have a very similar structure of a pattern here, okay? It, the, the, time, the time here is not, this is a fractal. It's not the same time frame, but you can see uh, what Tilray did, right? It consolidated all the way back down, and then it's set up to run here, right? So this would be considered a point of interest. This is not me projecting or saying this is going to happen. It's just showing you a pattern here that is possible based on the current setup, right? I have another one. Um, I've actually been working on a program with my brother that does scan uh, patterns, historical patterns in the market, and that's exactly how I found this one. And this one is pretty interesting. Hit the, it does hit the levels very accurately. Also shows us that Tilray and this pattern here have both been pretty accurate, right? So obviously you don't have the rest here playing out. This one is just from the moment you do hit that bottom, right? But it is that hovering projector. So it's a series of projectors and it doesn't quite come down to test that. Um, uh, basically the, the thing about hovering projectors is that they, they happen right above, so there's normally, normally, this isn't always the case, but normally there is a massive projector that does rally the stock. And then as soon as you come back down, this projector previously becomes, so that's why it's called a series of projectors, it's basically two or three combined. And then right here, as you come back down to test that last level of, of support here, the stock will bounce and rally, right? So an example of this is way back here. There's there's a there's a couple here, right? But this is just a traditional projector pattern. As we've seen it, we do we do come back down very quickly to test a lower level of support before bouncing, right? And there's normally a fake out involved 
on these. This would be a hovering projector. And you can see this because also these patterns are almost identical. Uh, when you stretch them, actually, took this one. Why oh, it's a hovering projector. This pattern right here is almost the same exact pattern, ratio-wise. I mean, look at that. It's literally the same pattern. Okay, both projectors, except one is hovering. This one does come down, test support. The other one doesn't. The other one just keeps going. So that's kind of what we have going on right here, except it's very flat. You can't see it because it's uh, very much on the micro level, but it is starting to play out. Okay. Um, so this is, uh, both of these guys are candidates here for AMC. You can see they both hit very, very similar levels, and they both call for upside right around the same time. Um, one calls for upside a little bit later. You can see this one here. I'm trying to, like, line it up according to these, both of these things here. You can see the structure is the same, but you, what you do want to focus on with fractals is really the levels here. And uh, the levels, the high levels and the low levels, making sure that they are being hit, okay? Uh, that's going to be the most important thing because we know that projectors or any sort of pattern in the market um, will be displayed a little bit differently according to the individual stock's algorithm. They all have different algorithms, uh, and they will display slightly different versions and variations of that pattern. But overall, they have the same goal a lot of the time, right? So... Again, this is not me predicting anything. I want to make that clear. I'm just showing you different patterns that have done something like that in the past before. And I think it's, it's important because we've seen this happen uh, over and over and over again, guys. It's just a way to analyze the market using patterns. Okay? So that is one thing here. Let's see what the other thing we had. Okay, let's also go over the cycle right because the cycle is what we're currently tracking and i said that in the in the uh blue pattern here normally we do experience that volatility that i talked about right so the the thing about this pattern here and there are certain variations of this pattern way uh back here that also look very similar to the current setup that we have right now, which there's not much going on. And there's always, I always tell people this, but there's always a shift in days uh, with some of these patterns. So what I mean by that is, let's clone this. So basically what the market is doing is it's shifting around this pattern as the stock is playing out and this data is being displayed, the cycle will do something like this. It will shift around patterns. Some of them will play out a day early. The other, other ones will play out a day late. So the fact that we don't have really any major uh, upside or downside here is telling me that here in the shorter term, possibly going into tomorrow, we might just experience that here in the market. Um, so again, not all cycles are going to be as accurate on the blue pattern, and that's fine. But normally what we do experience is very stagnant pressure as we are replicating what is this pattern here, right? But right now, again, it doesn't seem like we have that volatility uh, kicking in just yet. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time and wait for that. But again, I'm telling you guys, the it, things aren't always going to be that way. And that's why I'm going to pull this pattern up here again so you guys don't um, understand this, at how the cycle works here. But you can see here the inverse version, right? of this pattern right here. And, and I'm gonna replicate this all the way through so you guys can see. This is an inverse version, so it should be red. Right, I'll make it red. And then the rest here, going into right around this point, is playing out identical, as you can see, right down here. Right, so this is identical. Inverse identical. And then right around this point is where things start to play out. They're just very stagnant. There's not much going on. But you can see okay, kind of that structure here. Not the same pressure. Not, it's definitely not the same as this back here, which is just an inverse POI, a macro inverse POI. You can clearly see the levels are very accurate to the cycle. Uh, but this one right here, is there's just not much going on. To me, it seems more of like suppression and volume. Um, and again, with these dates being shifted around like this, you can have this portion be right here and still make sense, 
All right, so this is why I'm giving it a day or two to play out. There normally is a little bit of a gap. I'll show you another way we can track this. But for example, this is a this is another uh, thing here in the cycle. Very important POI is this section right here of the red portion is right here, right? This played out May 12th. This one was here on May 13th, so it was a day late. That works the exact same way on the blue cycle, on the blue pattern cycle, and on everything else. We can see right here, very important, again, very important section in the blue pattern, and you can see this plays out on this, on this POI right here, right? A lot of them play out on this one, and a lot of them play out way back here. So there's a lot of patterns, guys. Uh, let me see if I can track another one. Here's this entire section here in the cycle. And you can see that this right here, look how perfect that is. Here's another POI that did play out about two days early. Here it is again. On January 10th, we're expecting it and it plays out on the 7th. So, well, one market day, so one day apart. So a lot of these are gonna have that, guys. They're gonna have a, about a one day gap or a two day gap before they do play out. Um, so we're going to give it a little bit of time and see what happens here, but I think either going into tomorrow or Monday, we should experience um, that wick back up, as we can see not only with the current pattern, with the patterns I showed you guys, Tilray and the other stock that I scanned with the program, um, but we can possibly expect something like that uh, here moving forward since we are on that hovering projector. All right, so, so far we're looking pretty good, nothing crazy. Gonna keep tracking the stock and gonna keep updating you guys, all right? Um, also, if you want more updates and videos, guys, I, I am posting more frequently now. I'm trying to update you guys every single day, um, about five times a week. So make sure you guys subscribe and like the button, right? Like that button. And other than that, man, this is gonna be it for this video. Um, and yeah, join up that Discord, man. If you guys wanna check it out, click the link below. Uh, it'll give you a little bit more information on there, on everything else that is offered, all the indicators and all that good stuff, right? Alrighty, we'll see you tomorrow on stream. Bye-bye, guys.